Mike, I'm just looking out for you. I don't. We don't like teenage girls. I do. So leave. I love them. I love them. So get the fuck out of here, faggot. All right, I just, I gotta leave, okay? No, we just started, come on, man. We listen, just, listen, gotta... there's a lot to see in this life. Not wasting it here. I don't know what's been going on with Kick recently, but there's been a lot of issues surrounding predators and PDF files on the platform. This mainly stems from something that happened just recently with a couple of creators named Heel Mike and Zerka. They recently got permanently banned on the Kick platform for soliciting a minor who was on their live stream. We'll get into that in a little bit, but can we just talk about how Kick was already bad enough when it started and the main thing that it was really known for was allowing gambling on the website because it was really only created because Twitch didn't allow gambling on their li live stream platform anymore. And so Trainwrecks and a couple other guys decided, oh, well, we're just gonna create our own website and allow gambling. So it was already bad enough when that was like the main thing about Kick. And then we had a whole bunch of other like douchebag content creators like Jack Doherty who would go on the platform and do IRL streaming and just be a complete fucking nuisance to everybody around him and then obviously we have like Johnny Somali who went to Japan and did all that stupid bullshit there but now for some reason we have this huge problem with predators on the kick platform. Something about chickens actually recently a few months ago actually made a video called to catch a kick predator where he talks about a content creator named Riot Lol who would just go on Omegle and he would get girls to sexually reveal themselves and record them without their consent. And it was already bad enough that he was doing that and he was doing that live on his live stream. Obviously he can't show that because he would have gotten banned because even Kick doesn't allow nudity on their platform. But the problem was that he would then post the videos onto his Discord server and another issue that stemmed from that was also the fact that he was also doing that with minors. Multiple times he would run into minors on Omegle or Omi.tv or it's basically just Omegle. And he would basically just, he would ask the girl her age, she would say like 16 and he'd be like, no, you definitely said 18. No, you're definitely 18 years old. And it was weird. Something about chickens made the video talking about it. And I think he's actually now banned on kick and he's not live streaming there anymore. I'm not actually really too sure where he's at right now. I'm not sure if he's still active on other platforms or any other social media, but good on kick. They actually banned him. And they also banned, like I said, heal Mike and Zerka because recently they had a live stream where they were just hanging out on, on IRL on a live stream and they had a 16 year old there and I think Zerka was the one maybe it might have been heel Mike but Zerka I think it was was like kissing with her making out with her and just some of the clips that you'll see like in the video I'm gonna go ahead and just play them right now first go ask her birthday Later, and see if it's the same birthday. This is not you're trolling me. I'm not trolling. I ain't saying that ass. I don't care about the man. Okay, dude. I'm not doing this for content. No, because I'm used to Canada. In Canada, you can go to 1716. I've never done it, but you can do it. Like, no. Do you have lighter? Jack, can you see it? <laughs> Wait, these bitches are actually legal? Yeah! Bro, we've been trying to tell you guys! Yeah. Like, Kick do you need to see again? Do you want to know what else? What the fuck? What the fuck? Are they on my stream? I don't give a fuck. Fake ID? Good. Good. I didn't even know they made those. David, who gives a fuck, you losers? yourself you fucking queer losers always bitch some of the clips might have copyrighted music so obviously i can't play that but a lot of the clips that you're seeing they're just so fucking weird and uncomfortable because a lot of the times like 
they do this whole like rage baiting shit where they're insinuating that they are indeed a PDF file for the sake of getting people to get mad and want to check out the live stream. They're trying to get people to engage in the content, even if they're making themselves viewed in a negative sense. They're doing whatever they can in order to be able to get people to talk about them and view their live stream and i guess for whatever it's worth it worked but now obviously it kind of backfired on them because now the both of them are completely kicked off of the platform they started deleting a whole bunch of stuff like there are some discord messages there are some tweets that they released and saying some stuff and that's starting to get deleted now heel mike is trying to like play cover up and he's saying oh no you see i definitely asked if like the girl was actually of age and once I figured it out, you know, like, I, I kicked them out. Women are evil. Women are evil and nasty. And just, it's just, he's trying to do everything that he can in order to, to be able to, like, back himself up and make himself not look like the bad guy and make himself look like he didn't actually say this, that, and the other. But people have the screenshots. People already recorded the clips and the videos of you saying all this disgusting, terrible shit. And... I just don't understand how this is something that's being allowed on the platform. There are a surprising amount of creators right now who are on kick streaming who are continuing to do this type of content. And I just, I find it just so repulsive how these streamers have any sort of semblance of an audience in any way whatsoever. How they can go around doing this shit, not doing their due diligence specifically, especially in this situation with Zerko and Heel Mike, where they don't actually properly make sure that the girl is actually of age, because anybody can get a fucking fake ID, you know, all you have to do is just look at the fucking girl, and if she looks underage, she's probably underage, and you probably shouldn't do anything with her in any way whatsoever. And if you're not sure, because of the way that she looks, but she has an ID that says that she was born in an age where she's actually over the age of 18. If you're confused, then you still just don't do anything. You don't do anything with her. And then I think another tweet I saw, I forgot where I saw it, but I think uh, Pegasus has a tweet uh, showing like Heal Micro Zerka saying something like, Oh, well, what would you, what would have you have done in this situation? Exactly. You wouldn't have done anything. And it's like, first of all, I wouldn't be doing douchebag live streams in the first place. I wouldn't be doing anything like that. That's number one. Number two, I wouldn't be caught in this kind of position in the first place whatsoever because I wouldn't be actively fucking doing this. I wouldn't be constantly saying that, pause by the way, I, that I like underage girls because I fucking don't. But you're constantly going around saying that you don't give a fuck about the fact that you're into little girls and that you're doing this and that. You're constantly saying all this terrible shit. And yet you're not surprised that people are seeing all of these tweets, seeing all these clips of you, and are now calling you a PDF file. It's like, what did you expect to happen when you when you eventually ended up getting caught with someone who was a minor? Like, what did you expect was going to happen? I don't know. I don't understand why this is going on right now. I don't understand how so many people can watch creators like this because they're all just they're all just a bunch of fucking douchebags, right? They're just they're not entertaining, they're not funny, there's nothing entertaining about them. But yet they have this audience of impressionable young fans. I'm guessing that they're they are seemingly pretty young because that's the only sort of audience that I can actually think who who would actually be interested in watching this type of content. But I don't I don't know. Like I just don't understand how more streamers are coming out doing this type of content and then how kick isn't enforcing their rules and their guidelines more. I mean, I guess to be fair, they did go ahead and decide to go ahead and ban these two streamers, but it's the fact that there are so many streamers that are like this and they aren't banned and they're still getting away with doing the stuff that they're doing. Like there's a whole but one of them and like I, I already tried to go ahead and to see if there are other creators like this on on kick but there's just there's so many to go through that it's just i, I can't find them all but you know eventually they'll get caught slipping eventually so it's just a matter of time and waiting until it finally happens it's weird i don't understand how they can get away with this and think that they can get away with this <laughs> for as long as they did but whatever that's really all i have to say about the situation i just these guys are disgusting, you know. Like, for you know, I'll give them the, I'll give them the one benefit of the doubt. I don't think that they actually are PDF files. I just think that they're stupid, they're dumb, they're idiotic. They didn't do their due diligence to make sure that the girl was actually of age, and they they fucked up. They messed up massively, and they uh, I don't think they deserve a platform, right? I don't think they should go to Twitch. I don't think they should go to Kick. I don't think they should go to any sort of streaming platform where they can continue to keep doing this type of content because it's just 
it's just not good. It's just not good content. And that's coming from someone like me who already doesn't think that they make good content, but I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't be doing something like this. I wouldn't be caught dead doing anything like this. But anyways, that's besides the point. That's pretty much all I have to say about the situation. It's disgusting. It's weird. Uh, I'm glad that these two got banned and hopefully they never come back. But they're going to figure out something, I guess, even though they don't deserve an audience. But whatever. Uh, that's besides the point. That's pretty much it for me. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. Please turn on the notifications so you don't miss another video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Yeah!